Interglobe Aviation's profits more than doubled in the third quarter. But the 25% revenue growth was still the slowest in over a year. Samit is standing by with a closer look at the numbers and what he makes of it. Uh, Samit, what stood out? What were the misses? So I'll go out. Uh, I'll go with the headline numbers first. The revenues were strong. Uh, the overall numbers were strong for Indigo. The revenue growth was nearly 25.5 percent, to close to 9,900 crore rupees. Now, though this was the slowest revenue growth in the last five quarters, the numbers were ahead of what analysts were expecting. EBITDA came in 41 percent higher, at close to 1,800 crore rupees, while the EBITDA margins rose to 18.2 percent. Net profit jumped nearly three times, to close to 490 crore rupees. So higher yields, stronger passenger growth rate, higher passenger load factor, and lower cost aided the numbers in the third quarter of financial year 2020 for Indigo. So uh, on the negative side, a higher maintenance cost and forex losses offset some of these positives for Indigo. Now I'll go, go, uh, go up with the positives first. Yield now that was up nearly 1.3 percent to rupees 3.9 rupees per kilometer. Now this is despite an economic slowdown that we have been seeing that the company has been able to report and yield growth in the third quarter. Along with this, if you see the fuel cost, now that was down nearly 17.8 percent to 1.29 rupees. Now this is the biggest drop drop in fuel costs reported by the company in the last 14 quarters. Now, this was on the back of lower ETF prices, fuel efficient new aircraft and more international routes which led to lower fuel prices uh, for the company in the third quarter. So that is one positive that came in. Now if you see the total cost for the company that also increased by only 2% to close to 3.69 rupees. Now this is much lower than what the management was, had earlier guided in December. Now they were expecting the cost to increase by 4 to 5% but the overall cost increased by only 2% for the company in the third quarter. Now, the passenger growth for uh, Indigo was close to 22.7 percent and uh, the capacity growth was only 19 percent. Now, because of this, the passenger load factor for the company, uh, that has increased to 87.6 percent, thereby aiding the financial performance of the company. Now, if you see along with this, the company has added nearly 12 aircrafts uh, in the third quarter, taking the total fleet count to 257 uh, of aircraft. On the negative side, if you see, the company had a mark-to-market foreign exchange loss of close to 125 crore rupees. But do Remember, this MTM losses is just book loss and not an actual loss and could be reversed if the rupee strengthens going forward. Along with this, on the cost side, uh, one more uh, headwind was the maintenance cost, which the company booked around 298 crore rupees, which is the additional maintenance cost they had th that they had booked in this quarter. But this was according to the management guidance that they had given uh, in the earlier conference call that was uh, at the end of the second quarter earnings. Now. On the balance sheet side, if you see the balance sheet is yet again strong for Indigo with total cash balance increasing by nearly 7% to close to 20,000 crore rupees as the cash balance that Indigo has. Along with this, that debt has remained largely flat at close to 2,300 or uh, 2,350 rupees. So no concerns on the balance sheet side. Now the capacity guidance that the company has given for the fourth quarter, they're expecting their capacity to grow by nearly 20%. But for financial year 2020, they have again cut the capacity guidance to 20% from 25% earlier, and this is because of the aircraft delivery issues that the company has been seeing. And for FY21, they have given a capacity growth guidance of 20% uh, for FY21. Hmm. So, just a follow-up. Yeah, that's that's what I was coming to. That one, while there are some silver linings, there are some issues with the numbers. And on the capacity addition front, uh, they haven't uh, sounded as sanguine. Is this more a trend that was anticipated or is there a surprise here? Well, the trend was anticipated because if you see from the second quarter earnings, they have been continuously cutting down. Uh, in fact, from the first quarter earnings, they have been continuously cutting that, uh, cutting down their capacity growth guidance. And this is because of some engine uh, delivery, uh, aircraft delivery issues that they have been facing. The street was expecting uh, the capacity growth to come in lower because if you even see the DGCA data that has been coming in, that has been showing that Indigo's capacity addition has been lower. So this is, my, uh, this is what the street was expecting. But on the other hand, if you see, the passenger growth has still remained strong for Indigo, which has led to a higher passenger load factor. So that is the positive thing that we should take on from this earnings that has come in. And if the passenger uh, passenger growth continues to remain high despite a lower capacity growth, then it will still uh, lead to greater utilization and thereby improving their performance. Are brokerages positive, negative, neutral? Does the crude price fall also feature in any of the comments that have come in? Well, so far, uh, brokerages have not featured the crude price fa uh, factor because it's still too early, just January, and we have still have Feb and March. But yes, brokerages are positive on the third quarter earnings because a couple of them have upgraded the stock, and most of them have hiked the target price post the third quarter earnings. Well, that should be an interesting one. Interglobe Aviation certainly a stock that you should monitor in the session today. So, thanks so much for putting that into perspective. Yes, 11% uptick ahead of the numbers, but that's true for almost any non-index stock. Any non-index quality stock has actually had a bit of a run-up. So, I don't see this as a build-up in addition in ahead of the numbers, but 
since brokerages have upgraded, since crude has fallen and the numbers look okay, maybe this stock could see a reaction in the session today.